Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on July the 6th, 2020. Berkshire Hathaway buys Dominion Energy's gas unit. Warren Buffett's owned Berkshire Hathaway Inc. announced it will buy Dominion Energy Inc. natural gas transmission and storage network for $4 billion, helping the holding company to reduce its cash pile while letting Dominion focus on the utilities operations. The transaction includes more than 7,700 miles, 12,390 kilometers of natural gas transmission lines and 900 billion cubic feet of gas storage. Berkshire Hathaway Energy is buying Dominion Energy Transmission, Questor Pipeline, Carolina Gas Transmission, 50% of the Iroquois Gas Transmission System and 25% of the Cove Point Liquefied Natural Gas Facility in Maryland. Global stocks increase as sentiments improved. Shares markets jumped on money as strong data from the China and U.S. boosted investor sentiments, even offsetting the record new coronavirus infections in the United States. MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan rose 1.6 percent, marking its highest level since February, while Chinese blue chips surged 5.4 percent on top of a 7 percent gain last week, hitting the five-year peak. Even Japan's Nikkei, which has limited movements due to soft domestic economy, managed to increase 1.8 percent. Eurostox 50 futures jumped 2.3 percent and FTSE futures added 1.5 percent, while E-mini futures for the S&P 500 gained 1.1 percent. In energy markets, U.S. crude futures declined 24 cents to $40.41 per barrel. Meantime, brand crude contracts climbed 17 cents to $42.98 per barrel. Germany posts rise in orders for industrial goods. German industry orders rose 10.4 percent in May, recovering from their biggest fall since 1991 in April, as demand picked up after lockdown measures easing. However, the increase was weaker than expected 15 percent rise, wherefore the economy ministry said a return to pre-crisis levels will be slow even though the economy is recovering. The statistics office data show that domestic orders climbed by 12.3 percent, while orders from abroad were 8.8 percent higher. The double digit increase was mainly driven by a 20.3 percent rise in capital goods, including a 44.4 percent surge in the automotive sector. Uber Eats expands through buying Postmates Ride-sharing company Uber Technologies Inc. has agreed on a deal to buy food delivery app Postmates Inc. in a $2.65 billion all-stock agreement, according to the site in people familiar with the matter. The deal has been approved by Uber's board and could be announced later on Monday. According to the agreement, Pierre Dimitri Gorkati, head of Uber's food delivery business, Uber Eats, is expected to continue to run the combined delivery business. Uber had plans to also acquire Grubhub Inc. through its Uber Eats business, but walked away from the deal as just eatTakeaway.com eventually reached a $7.3 billion agreement last month to buy the U.S. online food delivery company.